the city asked for a hero, but all it got it was me. This city deserves a knight in shining armor, a white knight on a fiery steed. I'm not the hero they deserve. Someone told me love will save all, but look at what love gave us. A world full of killing and blood spilling. That would never come. I'm just a broken angel, cast from heaven and rejected by hell. But I'm all they have. I just hope I'm enough. I see you followed me. I figured you would. You shouldn't thank me. You think I'm a superhero? <laughs> Do I look like a hero to you? Do heroes wear leather jackets? Aesthetically pleasing scars? Emo fringe, rippling abs, rebel attitude? Cool motorcycles that they definitely didn't spend way too much money on. Oh, they do? Well, um, <clears throat> anyways. <clears throat> My name is Blood Shadow, and I'm no hero. Why are you smiling? Is my name funny or something? I wasn't trying to save you. I was there just to fight Dr. Skull. I was there for revenge, to avenge my brother. I know I saved you, but I'm no hero. I'm a monster. Now go away! I'm dangerous. I was created by a scientist of hell to hunt down lost souls. Yes, there are scientists in hell. We actually have a pretty good research program. I am a half-angel. Half demon, half vampire, half banshee, and half alien. That's not how halves work. Shut up! I went rogue after being shown kindness by a gentle homeless man who is actually an alien from the future. He died to protect me and in his memory. I vowed to protect the innocent and vulnerable. But I still cannot control my violent urges. My dark anger. The last time I lost control, a guy said, have a nice day. And I said, have a terrible day, and then spat on the floor. You should stay away. I can't control the darkness that lives within me. No, don't touch me. My flesh burns. Yes, I should probably use moisturizer, but I don't because I'm bad. Just being around me puts you in danger. My enemies won't hesitate to hurt an innocent. What enemies? I have enemies! The vilest practitioners of the criminal arts ever outride a banner of evil. There's Dr. Skull, a cyborg mad scientist from the 25th century. He seeks revenge against the past for destroying his future. But he may be the bringer of the doom he's trying to prevent. Every time I fight him, I ask myself, is he the true villain, or am I? He's really annoying because he's always talking about good places to brood. The city isn't that big and there's like three skyscrapers, so it's awkward. Or there's Dark Empress Diana Von Shadowgale, the Sorceress Queen of Dimension Negative X. She sends her army of cyberpunks and negative vampires through the interdimensional portal of the back of the old Quiznos. She's the worst, because she has, like, a whole army and I, like, don't want to beat up 50 guys before the final fight, you know? She's super tedious. Then she, like, monologues for about our tragic past for an hour. Like, what kind of self-insert weirdo does that? And of course there's my arch nemesis. Jimmy the Goose. Head of the avian mafia. The evilest goose to ever walk on the planet Earth. I don't think I need to explain how he's dangerous. What are you laughing at? They're not silly. They're very dangerous. Dr. Skull even killed my brother. Well, actually, he faked his death because he was evil. And he was not actually my brother. He was a clone. But you know what? Never mind. I don't have time to get in this right now. The point is, I have many enemies that might kill you. 
Just like they killed... Uh... Give me a second here. Commissioner Brian. No, he's still alive. A reporter kid? No. My dad? Yeah, I don't think I have a dad. Damn, I should really brood about that one next time. Um... Okay, I guess they never literally killed anybody. They just robbed museums and launched multi-level marketing schemes and stuff. Still, though, here's my terrible dark anger. Where I lose my mind and commit acts of unspeakable evil. Like writing hate mail to the nuns, or refusing to help an old man shoveling their driveways. Or using Facebook. No. Leave me be. I'm going to fly on the top of a skyscraper and brood on a gargoyle. Maybe play my saxophone. I don't know. Hey! Don't touch my shoulder. You'll activate it. Don't touch my cheek. I have a scar there. A jagged scar that mars my soulful eyes. Hey, um, why are you so close to my face? Um, wow, um, that was really nice. I, uh, can I have another? I feel like a weight has been lifted off my shoulders. My soul is at peace. I'm so high I can hear heaven, but heaven doesn't hear me. Wait, no, you shouldn't have done that. A moment of perfect peace will activate my dark anger. Dark anger coming over me. I hope you went out of toilet paper when you most need it. I'm sorry. I can't control. I hope all the bread loaves you find is nothing but the ends. I'm sorry, I don't mean to. Finally, every time you're on the verge of sneezing, I hope you never finish. No, no, I hurt you. I can't control it. The evil inside of me is too much. You should stay away from me for your own good. Oh, why must I hurt the people I love? That didn't hurt you? That was the meanest insult I ever gave anyone. You must be bad. Really bad. Can you teach me how to be hardcore? I gotta be hardcore to fight my enemies. I know I might look all brooding and tough, but the truth is, I don't know what I'm doing. Don't tell anybody, okay? Okay. You wanna get a burger? I know a really tough place on the corner of 23rd and Lincoln. Hey, it's the toughest Applebee's in the state. Come on, I'll show you. <laughs>